as the weather takes a significant turn for the worst and grazing conditions have deteriorated, we look at some scenarios playing out on farm with average farm covers falling quite dramatically. And now, more important than ever, during tough conditions that the dry matter intake capacity and the needs and requirements of the milking cow are met at all times, and we're stretching what grass is still available on farm to maximise days at grass. We'll also get the latest cell check update from Animal Health Ireland and Chagas on correct drying off procedure. In regards to autumn grassland management and what's actually happening out on farm at the moment, if we just look at Pasture Base Ireland data specifically, average farm cover has fallen dramatically over the last seven days. That fall has been on average circa 100 kilos of dry matter per hectare. So a huge fall like that would suggest that rotation lengths aren't being held to the target of 40 days and the closing of the platform is well ahead of target and happening too quickly on farm. When we talk about the downfalls of closing that platform too quickly this back end, really and truly it, it'll ultimately end with an early housing. We limit our days at grass this back end. And as we've spoken about previously on the podcast, every extra additional day we get at grass this back end is worth to the farmer's back pocket €1.80 per cow per day. Why? Because she's feeding herself, she's spreading her own manure, and she's also holding performance better than on a full indoor housed diet. So the target is to have 60% of the platform grazed by November 1st. This should be a little bit higher on our heavier type land types. So that should be up at 70 to 80% closed by the 1st of November. And also on those heavily stocked farms that have a high requirement and demand for grass next spring, that you'll also be at the 70 to 80% mark grazed and closed by the 1st of November. If you're ahead of that target and you're closing too quickly, we need to remove surplus stock or surplus to requirement stock off the platform as soon as possible. We also need to increase our supplementation, be it via parlor feed or reintroducing a silage buffer, ideally in the form of high quality surplus bales. If you're behind target and you're quite slow at closing, we want to make sure if this heavy cover is ahead, that you'll skip those heavy covers and go on to lighter covers so that we get the, a greater area or percentage of the platform grazed on target. If we look at average grass growth rates at the moment, those average grass growth rates are standing at about 35 kilos of dry matter per hectare per day, five kilos on average behind typical demand. And dry matter percentages again are quite variable, but in damp conditions, lows of 13% dry matter have been picked up in Moorpark. And again, we want to make sure that average farm cover doesn't drop too low. We don't want average farm cover to fall below 500 kilos of dry matter per hectare at any stage. But we want to maximise our days at grass. We want to ensure that we set the platform up for spring 2021 correctly, but also keeping grass in the diet of the cow for as long as possible, reducing our feed costs, our labour inputs and ultimately holding cow performance to its optimum. Now we'll hear from Chagas and Animal Health Ireland on the latest cell check update on correct drying off procedures. My name is Paul O'Connor from Chagas and at this stand I would like to go through with you the practical elements of actually drying off the cow. So we drafted out the cows during this morning's milking for drying. Uh, prior to this I would recommend having the cows tails clipped. Ideally cows should be dried off as soon as their production levels reaches between eight to 10 liters per cow per day. So the first thing to do is um, wash down the parlor after milking. Then assemble your equipment. So what do you need? Uh, a clean parlor apron or parlor suit, nitrile disposable gloves, some sort of a marking system, metal leather spirits, um, cotton wool, a headlamp in case the parlor is a bit dark, and your tubes laid out just enough for one cow. Um, so you let the cows up on one side of the parlour and use the other side um, uh, for your equipment. Or you can use what we have here as a collapsible table in the pit with all your equipment laid on it as well. So the first thing to do is wash all those teats um, uh, with tepid water and dry them with some paper towel. Next is 
um, you mark the cow with some sort of a marking system. Um, so the next part is the cleaning process, cleaning those teats with metal leather spurs and cotton wool. So the process is starting from the front, working away to the back. And the reason for that is so you don't recontaminate the teats before you put up the tube. So starting off with the front left, the front right, the back right and the back left. So it's really, really important when you're cleaning that teeth, to clean the top of that teeth clean and sterile. When you're tubing, however, you go in the reverse. You start off with the back left, the back right, the front right, and the front left. When you're tubing, if you're using antibiotics, you push the tube up into the quarter and make sure to massage it up into the quarter. Um, with the teeth seal, however, you pinch the top of the teeth where it joins onto the other, push the teeth sealer up, and what you, you, you're aiming to um, keep the teeth sealer in the teeth itself. That's not massaged up. Uh, you teeth dip or teeth spray after. It's also important to leave the cows stand in the clean yard for two hours um, after doing this job. Uh, to enable the, the teeth canals to fully close up. It's also important to record the event. So in summary, um, this is a really important task that's covered out on all dairy farms. Um, and a couple of points that I'd like to emphasize again are one, preparation, be well prepared. Two is hygiene, hygiene is critical. Number three is help, have enough of available help and four is allow sufficient time for this important task. For more information on any of the topics covered in this week's Glanby Ireland Dairy Focus podcast, contact your local Glanby Ireland representative or log on to www.glanbyconnect.com.